France, a country known for its beauty, also has some places you might want to avoid. This is no attempt to discourage you, but rather an attempt to educate you, to prepare you for the reality that lurks beneath the beautiful facade that France presents to the world. Think about this. You're all set, bags packed, itinerary planned to explore the city of lights. You have images of grand boulevards, sumptuous cuisine, elegant boutiques, and of course, the iconic Eiffel Tower. You are envisioning romantic walks along the Seine, the aroma of fresh croissants filling the air, and the soft melodies of French music all around. But just hold your horses for a moment right there. Remember, not all that glitters is gold. As beautiful and enticing as the idea of France may sound, it's only fair to paint an accurate picture for you. France, like any other place in the world, is not bereft of its share of problems, or let's say less glamorous aspects. France is a paradise indeed, with picturesque landscapes and captivating history, but like any other, it has its shadows. It's not all boulevards and boutiques, baguettes and brie. There are corners, less appealing, less romanticized, that you might want to be aware of. Some experiences and locations might make you uncomfortable, or they might not align with your expectations. After unexpected surprises, especially unpleasant ones, can ruin the thrill of exploration. It's important to be informed and prepared. The full picture might have elements of surprise that you'd prefer to miss. So brace yourself, tighten your seatbelts as we take you through a journey. A journey that explores some of these less appealing corners of this otherwise enchanting country. Ever dreamed of a serene moment with the Mona Lisa? Well, dream on! Our journey takes us to the heart of France, where we explore the A Museum, with a history as awe-inspiring as the artworks it houses. This cultural titan in the heart of Paris needs no introduction. It's a place that has captured the world's imagination for centuries. The Louvre, the world's largest art museum, is not just an institution, but a historic monument. This iconic landmark has earned its place on every traveler's checklist, creating a paradox of its popularity. Consider the more than 9 million art enthusiasts it attracts annually. This enormous influx of visitors often results in an overcrowded museum. How does one truly appreciate the intricate details of a masterpiece such as the Venus de Milo or Winged Victory of Samothrace when surrounded by legions of tourists all vying for the same view? It's akin to trying to appreciate a single note, the crescendo of a symphony. The waiting lines can be incredibly long, sometimes wrapping around the ornate exterior, giving the feeling of an endless sea people. The colossal collection of over 35,000 works of art can be overwhelming. It's akin to traversing an art-infused labyrinth where every turn reveals another slice of history. The whole experience can be quite daunting, and the thrill of discovery can easily get lost amongst the commotion and confusion. The magic of the Louvre, its treasure trove of art and history, is often overshadowed by the sheer volume of visitors, turning what could be a moment of awe into a stressful ordeal. So there's a double-edged sword to this vast museum's popularity. So unless you enjoy jostling with crowds for a glimpse of the art, you might want to give this one a miss. Mont Saint-Michel may look like a fairy tale, but the reality can be a nightmare. This petite rocky isle, nestled in the bosom of Normandy, France, is celebrated for its stunning medieval architecture and breathtaking views. Yet exploring its labyrinthine serpentine streets can often be a test of endurance rather than a leisurely stroll. The paths are generally teeming with tourists, creating an obstacle course that hinders the appreciation of the architectural grandeur enveloping you. Moreover, while the charm of the dainty little boutiques and inviting cafes may initially pull you in, be prepared to face the harsh reality of their sky-high prices. These businesses are very aware that they have a captive audience and do not hesitate to charge a premium for their offerings. Even a modest meal or a small memento can become a considerable expense, making your sojourn at this picturesque locale a potential drain on your finances. At high tide, the island transforms into a spectacle, entirely surrounded by water. The abbey at top offers panoramic views of the surrounding bay, making every arduous step worth it. But beware, the weather can change in a heartbeat and the tide can rise at an alarming pace. It's a striking yet intimidating natural phenomenon adds to the overall mystique of Mont Saint-Michel. 
Despite the challenges, the island's charm lies in its perfect blend of nature's power and mankind's resilience and ingenuity. It's a place where history and heritage have withstood the test of time, peering down at us from its lofty perch. So, if you're looking for a relaxed, carefree visit, Mont Saint-Michel might not be the place to go. The Champs-Élysées may be iconic, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. Indeed, many may attach the sound of its name with the allure of Parisian charm, but be warned not to let this illusion deceive you. It's frequently proclaimed as one of the most stunning avenues in the world, yet it's a glaring comparison to the reality of exorbitant prices and tourist-centric shops designed to ensnare the unwitting traveler. You could naturally assume that this grand boulevard, lined with trees and stretching its magnificent length, would be brimming with boutiques, artisan bistros, and the quaint charm of Parisian life, right? Unfortunately, you'd be mistaken. Instead, what you'll unpredictably discover is a parade of multinational chain fast-food establishments and overly expensive cafes, all jostling for space on this world-renowned avenue. The authentic charm of Paris, it appears, is hidden behind an unexpectedly thick veneer of commercialization. Instead of unique and locally owned businesses, the avenue is crammed with logos and brands recognized worldwide. It's a sight that starkly clashes with your imagination of idyllic Parisian experience. And then, there's the constant hum of traffic. The ceaseless roar of cars, buses and motorcycles steals away the tranquility you'd expect from the Champs-Élysées. The exhaust fumes, the honking horns and the hurried pace can transform a leisurely walk into a mad dash through an intensely busy city. It's far from the serene romantic you might envision when you think Paris. So if you're searching for a truly authentic Parisian experience, you may want to explore beyond the Champs-Élysées, venture into the city's hidden gems where local charm thrives. The Champs-Élysées, while iconic, may not be the Paris you're dreaming of. Cannes may be known for its film festival, but outside of that, it leaves a lot to be desired. Let me clarify, Cannes isn't without its charm. The city exudes an unmistakable charisma, especially when it's gearing up for its annual world-famous film festival. The red carpet is unrolled, the city is adorned with twinkling lights, the stars are shining, both in the sky and on the ground. It's a spectacle, a celebration of the silver screen in all its glory. However, when the paparazzi pack up and the red carpet is rolled away, the city seems to lose its shimmer. It becomes a different place altogether. One might argue that the charm of Cannes is elusive, greatly dependent on the festivities of its renowned film festival. You see, Cannes, without its film festivities unfortunately, doesn't offer much in terms of other attractions to engage a wandering traveller. Sure, there's the glitzy La Croisette Boulevard, stretching along the sparkling coastline, lined up with palm trees and luxurious boutiques. The historic Le Souquet also offers a glimpse into the city's past, with its winding, cobbled streets and quaint eateries. But once you've visited these, well, you've pretty much covered the main sites. And then there are the beaches. True, they are beautiful, offering panoramic views of the azure Mediterranean Sea, but they're often crowded to the brim with sun-seeking tourists and locals alike. And then, there's the issue of cost. Cannes does not cater to those keeping a mindful eye on their budget. From the high-end designer boutiques to the Michelin-starred restaurants, the prices here can make your eyes water. The cost of living in Cannes is notoriously high, adding to the overall expense of a holiday here. Furthermore, there are other downsides such as the lack of diversity in activities or the steep prices of basic amenities. If you're not a movie star or a millionaire, Cannes might not be the glamorous getaway you're imagining. Lourdes may be a famous pilgrimage site, but for the average tourist, it can be a bit of a letdown. I'm not being overly critical. It's a place of deep religious significance, a beacon drawing in millions of faithful from around the globe annually. But venture a little further from the spiritual epicenter, you might find yourself somewhat disappointed. The town, unfortunately, has succumbed to rampant commercialization. A myriad of shops like an unending chain fringes that their display windows literally overflowing with religious paraphernalia. From tiny statuettes representing the Virgin Mary to rosaries available in a rainbow of colors, these shops often give off the vibe of souvenir kiosks rather than sacred spaces fostering serenity and prayer. 
To the tourists who are more used to a diverse palette of attractions in their travel destinations, Lourdes might appear stark. Stripped of the religious facet, the town is of conventional tourist magnets. While the natural scenery can be appreciated for its charm, it doesn't compensate for the absence of grand museums housing works of art, no historical landmarks narrating tales of the past, or world-class eateries offering gastronomic experiences. To put it succinctly, Lourdes is a town whose existence pivots around a solitary of attraction. It's a place that holds immense significance for those on a spiritual journey, but if you're a regular tourist seeking variety and experiences, it might fall short. Unless you're on a religious pilgrimage, Lourdes might not live up to your expectations. So there you have it, a few places in France that may not be as captivating as you imagined. We've traversed the bustling streets of Paris and the serene countryside of Provence, peeking behind the curtain of some of the country's most popular tourist attractions. From the overcrowded pathways of the iconic Louvre, bursting at the seams with tourists all vying for a fleeting glimpse of the Mona Lisa, to the underwhelming religious site of Lourdes, where the promise of spiritual awakening often falls short of expectations, we have shed light on some unexpected truths about France's most visited destinations. However, don't allow these revelations to dampen your wanderlust. Instead, use them as a guide to help you navigate the labyrinth of French tourism. Each traveler's experience is subjective, influenced by personal tastes, interests, and expectations. What may seem lackluster to some could be a hidden gem to others. Remember, the beauty of travel lies in its unpredictability. A lesser-known museum or an overlooked vineyard might offer you a more authentic and fulfilling experience than the most famous landmarks. So, take your time, research thoroughly, plan meticulously, and make an informed decision about where to visit. Consult guidebooks, read travel blogs, join online forums, and friends who have visited before. The aim is not to dissuade you from visiting these well-trodden paths, but to inspire you to venture off the beaten track and discover your own version of France. After all, one person's disappointment might be another's delight. Travel is about personal experience, about immersing oneself in a different culture, tasting exotic foods, meeting new people, and creating unforgettable memories. We'd love to hear your thoughts, or if you have any other suggestions, feel free to share them in the comments below.